Welcome back LSME to our online classroom. I'm Tisha Dumi. Today we are doing social sciences. We will be doing the topic called grid references. What does grid references mean? It means we will be locating objects. We want to find out where our objects are. Our keywords for this week is grid lines. Grid lines, we say that these are lines that cross each other to form squares or rectangles. A grid. A grid is a pattern formed by lines that cross each other. A grid reference is names given to parts of a grid on a map or picture using letters and numbers. If you look at the picture on your right, you can see that on the top part, we've got our letters and then on the left side, we've got our numbers. Let's look at our letters. On top, in every block will have its own letter. So we've got A, B, C, D, E and F. On our left side, our numbering, we start by numbering from the top block. So from the top grid. So we say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So now we're going to look at a picture without a grid. Remember now, if we have a picture without a grid, it becomes difficult for us to locate the direct position of an object. So this is our school emblem, VTA School Persevera. So now I'm asking you to please locate for me the letter H for house in the word school. So you will only be able to point it at me on a picture, but you will not be able to give me the direct location as to in where exactly do I find it on the picture. So that's why it's useful for us to use Grids. Grids also help us on maps. If we're trying to, we're doing a treasure hunt, it will tell us where exactly do we find the treasure. Where exactly do we go? So now let's look, try and find out the letter H in the word school with a picture with grid lines. So this is our picture now with grid lines. We've already labeled our picture with our letters and our numbers. Remember we said our letters are on the top part, our numbers will be on our left. So we've got A, B, C, D, E, and F. Our numbers on our left, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So now we can locate in which the grid position of the letter H in the word school. So what we do is you put your finger on the letter H and you move upward. So you can see now that our picture, the letter H is located in letter D. So now we want to know the number. We put again our, pic our finger on the letter H, we move towards our left. We can see now that it is located in 1. So if I ask you to please tell me, where is the letter H positioned? You would say letter H is found in D1. So now let's take another example. So I want us to locate the book in our emblem. So you take your finger, you put it on the book, you move up. You will see that it leads us to the letter C. So we now know that our book is positioned in C. So now we need to know the number in C. We put our finger again on the book. We move to the left. We see that the book is located in 5. So we say the book is found in C5. But you can see now that the book is not only located in C5. It's not only in one grid. So we put again our finger on the other side of the book. We move up, 
it leads us to D. So now we want to know the number in D. We put a finger again on the book. We move towards our left. We see that now we are in D5. So now if I ask you the position of the book, you would say the book is located in C5 and in D5. Now let's look at our activity. They gave us a picture here of a city and a village. We can also see the sea. So let's find out what they want us to do. They say we must use the grid references in the picture below to describe the position of A, the tall building in the city center with two aerials on top of it. B, the split in the main road near the city center. C, the village with hearts. D, the boat. They want us to give two grid positions as we did with the book. In E, the bus up the road. F, the two trees standing together. G, the church. They also want two grid positions. H, the pond. They also want two grid positions. I will only do be doing number A with you guys, and the rest you guys will do it during the whole week. Let's go to do number A. We go back to our picture. We look at our picture to find a building with two aerials. We find that our building is in E. Remember, you put your finger, you move up to find the letter first. So we see that our building is located in grid E. So now we need to find our number. You put your finger on the building, you move towards your left. So the, the picture is found in number one. So you would say that the tall building is located in E1. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this lesson. Until next week, Please stay safe. Until then, goodbye.